Today I'm showing you my best build for the dock. To start off with, your assault rifle, you can pretty much pick what you want. I like the Kramer uh, pulse rifle. I prefer the burst over the Grupa for the ammo capacity. Also, you can use a sniper if you want. It's not that important. Just to show you the mods that I run with the Kramer. For your pistol, definitely, once you get it, if you don't already have it, one of the type combat pistols, either the type burst or the type combat. Both do a lot of damage. Put some fire rate on uh, this pistol right here, and it is a really beast. For the consumables, I like the landmines and the cryo grid with him. Because as you'll see in the build, he has movement speed increase. So he is able to get down that cryo grid and the landmines a lot easier while he's backtracking. And he doesn't have the power or the stun capability to get enemies off him. So if you have a drone or a big dude coming at you, you can quickly place down a landmine and jump back or a cryo grid. So onto the build, this is basically a full medic build. We're going to increase the radius of the trauma station as much as possible, putting it at 73% increased radius. This one is pretty good too, um, although one of the things doesn't seem to always work. It's you can't be stumbled while reviving or using an A kit or interacting with objects, although sometimes interacting with objects you still get stumbled at the moment, but that's not really why it's in the build. It's more for reviving allies. So you need to get your allies up. And if you're getting stumbled, then you have to start all over on the revive process. So Surgeon's Hands is a necessity to get people up. Next up, we have Picking Up Down Allies grants them 50% more health. And every time you pick somebody up, up it increases the entire team's bleed out time by 25% and that does stack so that is really nice next up we have we can pick up twice as fast oh sorry that was the one we just did next up we have your movement and ability recharge speeds are increased by 10% and your reload and handling are increased by 20% so for two spots that is just a really beast we need to move fast to pick people up Ability recharge for the combat stem so we can move even faster when we need to pick somebody up or back off. And then we have extra reload speed and ha handling for swapping our weapons, so that's really nice. Now the hit and run tactics is a huge bar for what I really keep it for. And it's mostly for the movement speed. Um, this just allows you to move really fast to pick people up, but you also do get 20% stun recovery, which is really nice if you just get hit while you're trying to get to the revive or you're trying to get to a vantage point and you also get 20% uh, grapple damage if you do happen to get pounced. Next up we have your outgoing healing is increased by 20% and allies now gain 50% recharge speed while standing near you. This is also really nice so even if they have one health when you use your medkit you're bringing them back up to full health you're giving them more health 99% sure, I'm pretty sure, like when you revive them they also get more health as well. I uh, forget sometimes to look. Um, this one right here I really like as well, especially on the lower end difficulties. On uh, casual, standard, and intense, this is insanely beast if you're able to avoid a lot of the big attacks and after you do get hit you're able to not get hit for another 10 seconds and you can keep your health up with the trauma station keep it at 1400 to 1500 you can just rack up temporary health on casual to intense and while you have temporary health i'm not sure if this is going to be adjusted but right now if you step in acid blood while you have temporary health you don't even take damage from the acid blood so this is really nice on extreme and insane, you'll just be getting some health back. You're not going to actually gain health off every hit, but on uh, casual to intense, if you take a light hit, you'll actually gain health if you stay away from more damage for 10 seconds. 
And the last one I have is Combat Stims Grant 30% Handling, which I don't think is a big deal. I don't think you need the handling while you're using Combat Stims. You're using it generally more to move faster. But it additionally causes Stamina Regen to no longer be halted by dodging for its duration. So it's actually really nice that you can infinitely roll while you're using it. Now, in place of this, because it's actually, it's just like an okay perk, not really necessity, and you want it to uh, give yourself a little bit of offense. If you're primarily using the pistol, or you're like burst firing a lot on your assault rifle, short control burst is really good. Um, that one just makes the pistol pretty much pretty much pinpoint accuracy and the first four bullets of your assault rifle are going to be dead on point if you have anything that in you get something off the first couple hits then it's very easy to get that one so this one really isn't needed but there's not too many two slots that you can use that are good if you use everything else so I went with this but you could very easily replace it for the short control burst I do like sometimes when I do use the combat stems, I can just infinitely roll. It is very nice like to pop that and then roll a bunch of times to the down ally and then just get the revive. So I went with the full medic build and that was what I chose for the last spot. And that is my best build for the doc, making him the ideal medic with the current mods available. I hope that helps.